Since many of you are having trouble with the Physio X 10.0, uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration in case you cannot log in. Uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration of what it would uh, what sort of a video, what it would look like if you were to do it yourself. But um, we're going to click on, this is your login screen that you get after logging in. I'm going to click on Physio X 10.0 lab simulations. And there they are. You were supposed to do um, exercise six. Um, the... Um, effect of temperature and so it's activity three and activity four tem examining the effects of chemical modifiers on the heart rate so let's do the temperature first temperature effect um, what you get there is uh, the learning objectives you can take a look at that um, i'm going to click next and here's a write-up about the terms that you're supposed to be able to define homeothermic hyper hypothermia um, poikilothermic so uh, you can read through this uh, on your own uh, the equipment used you can also take a look at that on your own and let's answer these questions organisms that usually maintain the same internal body temperature well they're known to be homeothermic let's check the answer and next the general name for the process that maintains the internal body temperature in humans is homeostasis. And next, the electrolytes in a ringer solution are required to provide for autorhythmicity. And check answer. And that's correct. And an internal body temperature that is above the normal range is hyperthermic above the normal range to cancer and now we're ready to do the experiment we can submit this and here will be our frog heart and we are having a transducer that is um, measuring these contractions of that heart and you can see the recording set right there so the heartbeat um, right here we have a normal ringer solution, I believe. Um, 23 uh -huh. degree ringer solution is on there. So we have a heart rate of uh, 59 beats per minute. And so why don't we record that and get that in. 59 beats per minute. Now we are going to um, change. Why don't we hit next? So now uh, we're supposed to um, determine what effect will decreasing the temperature of the ringer solution have on the frog heart. So um, I think we're all clear that that should decrease the heart rate if we decrease the temperature. So um, I'm going to submit this question and apply that ringer five degrees. Ringer, watch what happens to the heart rate. So we're starting at 59, and now we have five degree ringer solution. Now we're changing the heart rate, and it is dropping down to 49. And let's record the data. Five degree ringer is 49, so we're dropping 10 beats per minute. And <clears throat> now we're going to hit next, and sure we have. Answer another question when the heart activity is played. So, um, no, I don't want to reset this right now. So, uh, let's go back to uh, 23 ringer, room temperature ringer solution, and we're changing the heart rate back to resting heart rate or normal heart rate. Heart rate normal right now. Okay, so now um, let's hit next. And now we are supposed to, yeah, we already did the 23 ringer, so we can hit next. And now it's telling us what effect will increase in the temperature of the ringer solution have on the heart rate. Well, it's going to increase it. And we're going to submit that. And now let's check it out. Let's uh, put on 32 degrees Celsius ringer. Watch what happens to the heart rate. And here we are. Heart rate changing, and it's going to stabilize at 69 beats per minute. And we're going to record the data right here. So now we're at 69. Okay, and now we hit next. Let's see what we're supposed to do up here. Uh, we did record the data already done. And next, 
And that is, uh, what effect do you think a fever of 104 would have on your heart rate? Well, it should increase um, the heart rate. And check answer. And submit question. And now, congratulations, you have completed this experiment. Submit and go to the post lab quiz. Okay, so we're going to hit submit here. Now we have a post lab quiz in the five degree ringer solution. The frog heart beat slower than baseline by 10 beats per minute. We don't need to view the results again. And in the 32 degree ringer solution, the frog heart beat faster than the baseline. Next. And if the human heart rate were experiencing hypothermia, um, hypothermia, what do you think would be the effect on the heart rate? Well, that should decrease the heart rate. If we are decreasing the temperature, even in our heart, it would decrease it, the heart rate. Without the Ringer solution, um, the heart would not have spontaneous contractions. That's correct right here. Spontaneous contractions or action potentials would not occur. And next, and we are done. We're going to submit our post lab quiz. And um, we can take a look at all of this here. Yeah, we answered this already. Next. And the Ringer solution is necessary. Uh, it's a saline solution. It's necessary to provide for the autorhythmicity in the heart that you would see. And we don't need to watch the results. And um, the effect of increasing the temperature of the Ringer solution, it, it increased the heart rate. So we don't need to go back to the, to the um, results. I think we got that. And submit. And here we are. And um, there are the results from the pre-lab questions, post-lab questions, and we are good. The experimental data right here. So um, we're good. So if you didn't get a chance to do this exercise, um, you can watch this video and it should be all in here.